Hi friends. Good morning. Let us discuss about strings now. So we are trying to answer this question. Define a string. Which character is used to terminate a string? Describe various methods to input string from keyboard. So a string in C is nothing but character array. So a string in C is a character array and this ends with a null character. So always a string ends with a null character. Null character we will represent as backslash zero. So let us see how to declare and let us do some programs on this. So for doing the programs I am using replit replit to declare a string because string is a character array. How to declare a string means we need to use the data type care followed by string name I am taking str1 followed by size of the string here I am taking some 10 this is how we will declare a string so to declare a string I am using care name of the string followed by the size of the string and how to initialize a string to initialize a string that is assign a value at the time of declaration we can say that care str1 for example i am using str1 is equal to i can assign a string literal to it see this hello inside this double quotes is called a string literal i am assigning a string literal to it and i have not specified any size here what happens is that the number of characters in the string literal is counted and one additional character that is backslash zero null character is also counted that will be assigned to the string we can also assign it in another way care str2 let us assume i am taking six is equal to hello so why i am taking six i got five characters in hello and adding the sixth character null and i am taking six here so another method is care str3 i am taking 6 i can assign individual characters like this h whereas i have to put these characters in single quotes h l l o i am giving comma l comma o and i need to add an additional character that is backslash zero that is our null character so this is how we can initialize a particular string so to declare a string data type is care give the name of the string followed by the size of the string and to initialize the string i am giving three different methods one is without giving the size of the string okay or one is by giving the size of the string and the third one is by assigning every letter separately this is how we will initialize it is there a way to read a character array that is a string from the user s yes. if i want the input then what i can do is that for example i have declared care str1 of 6 and to read this from the user i can use as usual scanf so when i use scanf i have to pass percentile s as the format specified and followed by the name of the string that is str1 so when i use scanf to read a string so we need to use percentile s that is one thing and here i can clearly say that i am not using the ampersand operator that is address of operator i am not using here because character array a string itself is an array and the name of array is an address i need not give the address of operator there okay so this is one method and there is also another method to read the array that is gets function so gets i will pass the name of the string this will read 
the array for us. So when we use the scan scanf method, there is a drawback that it reads the string until it encounters and white space. So that is one thing we should remember. When I use scanf, it reads only until it encounters in white space. So there is one solution is gets, but gets also has a drawback that it does not check the bounds of the array. So some compilers do, does not allow it. So another method we got is f gets. So for f gets, we need to pass three different arguments. That is one is string, now the name of the string, then followed by the number of characters you want to read and from where you want to read. So I want to read from the console, then I say the standard input stdin. So these are the three different methods we can use to read a string. And to print a string, for example, I want to output the string to the console or to print the string. The methods I have is for output, as usual printf so for printf i need to use the format specifier percent ls followed by the string again. this is printf we got another method called puts so this is directly pass the string name to print it so these are two different methods to print so let us see a small program i want to declare a character array Care str1 is equal to hello. I declared and initialized it. Now I want to print it. So I can say printf. So what is that format specifier we need to use? Percent ls followed by str1. Let me run this program. There is an error that I forget to add this semicolon here. You can see hello is printed here. So let us check another method. I don't want to initialize it. I want to read the value from the user. So I, I can use scanf percentile s comma str1 semicolon. This is another method I'm using scanf. Let me run this. So it is waiting. So let me enter the name from a enter it. Okay, here I forget to give the size, give the size and try to run it. So here I need to enter the name, some name. For example, I am writing Sita, enter. You can see that it is printed. I will run it again. Now I want to print hi, how. You can see that only hi is printed, which means that the scanf can read until it encounters a white space. Whatever you type after the white space, that is not encountered. So let us use another method instead of scanf. We got gets, but this gets is dangerous because it doesn't check the bounds of the array. So let me try what happens. So when I run this, it is telling that warning the gets function is dangerous and should not be used. So we got another method called f gets, another function f gets. In f gets, we got the, we need to pass three arguments str1 then the size how many characters i want to read assume that i want to read only nine characters because the size is 10 the 10th characters for backslash zero and from where std in i said let me do this run so it is waiting for me to enter the name i am entering sita space rima enter you can see that sita space REIM is printed here 5 plus 3 8 because I said 9 it is taking 8 and 9th character is treated as backslash 0 okay thank you